on guys, we're here today at Rock Solid Gym in Adelaide. We're gonna be doing a chest workout. It's gonna be a hypertrophy style workout. I'm here in the Evo range by right away, which is my favorite possible release they could possibly do. The link is in description. Um, I'm gonna be testing it out, giving it a run for its money in the gym today. Training chest, we're gonna go through a couple of the staple exercises that I would do in my own time, but I want you guys to try as well. There's gonna be lots of things that work out upper chest, middle chest, and also the lower outer cut of our chest too. So we're gonna try and get a whole well-rounded physique. Also with our chest, we're gonna try and hit it from multiple angles, doing different exercises, both compound, isolation exercises to make sure we get a well-rounded chest. Big, thick, wide, looking nice and juicy. So. Let's get started. So, first exercise, and what I love to do for my chest is make sure that we pre exhaust our chest and make sure we've got blood in there before we get into our compound exercises. So, this is an isolation. We're gonna use the chest by machine. We're gonna do pretty light to get started, and we're gonna work our way up, progressively overloading our body with a bit more weight with each set. So, I wanna make sure that you guys take home that this is for a warm up to make sure that we've got the blood into the working muscles before we get started on our compound lifts. bench let's talk about it so a staple in anyone's chest workout whether you're a beginner whether you're advanced I'd like to see I'd like to call myself advanced at this stage I'm still gonna be doing that so I want you guys to do it too for the sake of this video for the sake of your next workout I want you to do flat bench press super important and super important that we get the technique correct before we start doing it as well to make sure when we're on the bench to activate our core so I want to make sure I don't have to switch on before we do anything when we're lifting um, one reason is because if we're not activating our core, we can core left and right, probably more so when we're going to be doing our dumbbells because we're using unilateral uh, motion. So we're going to use you know, one thing at a time. Here we've got a bar, so it's a little bit uh, easier, but we still need to make sure we're switching on our core to activate all those muscles to make sure we're not swaying left and right so we lose that balance. So you notice when I'm down here, the setup face for this, make sure our eyes are underneath the bar or in line with the bar. And then when we set up, both feet are on the ground nice and flat. There's a slight arch in my lower back, but not too much. And we're gonna take our hand grip at a 90 degree angle. So if you're taller and you've got quite broad shoulders, um, you'll have to go a little bit wider on the bar. For people that are a bit shorter um, and don't have such long limbs, you'll probably end up being in here somewhere. Um, for me, I'll be out wide on the knurling like this. And then when I come down to my repetitions, you notice that I've got about a 90 degree angle at the elbow, which is what you want. Um, also, another thing you guys to take in consideration, when you're doing your reps, it's not always necessary to go all the way down and touch your chest because that's actually over 90 degree angle. And from there, we're going to be activating our shoulders and anterior deltoid. So if anything, I just want to go just below 90 degree angle and then exploding back up. So let's chuck some weight on there and get started. doing an incline dumbbell press. Now, throughout this workout, we're gonna try and target all different parts of the chest, upper, middle, and lower, as I said before. So this is gonna be our first incline chest move. We're also gonna be doing one of my favorite exercises after that to really target the upper chest too. But this is just your typical dumbbell press on an incline. You set the machine up, so set the bench up anywhere between like 30 and 50, um, 50 degrees. Somewhere in there is just fine, but um, I used to have, I, I, I like to have it like this most of the time. Remember to progressively overload your system with more weight with each set. To make sure that you're challenging your body with a new stimulus to make sure that it's going to be continually growing. All right, let's get started. called the champagne press. It is my favorite exercise for upper chest by far. Guess what? One of the best exercises I've ever done. When we go to the top of the range of motion, it's like a close grip dumbbell press. But when we get to the top of the range of motion, I want you to push your thumbs upwards and 
and doing that extra little bit of the uh, range of motion at the end will actually engage more of that upper chest. So you see when I run you through it, but setup phases like the rest of the things, when we're on our bench, squeeze our shoulder, squeeze our shoulder blades together before we start pressing. Therefore, we're gonna engage more of our chest and then at the end of the rep, thumbs up to the ceiling. Bring it back down, touch your upper chest with the dumbbells and then back up. Let's go. It's time to do our outer lower part of the chest. Very important one, make sure you're looking nice and full. It's something that I need to work on personally because it's something that I didn't focus on too much when I first started lifting. Did lots of incline presses, therefore my shoulders ended up being predominant um, and started overtaking the chest. So something that you guys need to take into consideration when you're first starting to train, make sure you train your chest at the upper, middle and lower, which we're gonna do right now. So. We're gonna set up our flies real low, so the lowest cable possible, two handles, and we're gonna bring our arms forward like this, two in front of our face. So starting out wide, lean forward with one step, one foot forward, one foot back. The stability, keep our floor switched on, and then bring our handles to in front of our face. Squeeze for a second, and then come back down to starting position. That is a wrap for today's chest workout. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did enjoy it, feel free to subscribe to the channel here at Right Aware. If you did like this, it is my favorite and you can purchase it in the link below. Go check it out. Also, just to give you a little bit of a recap or a summary of the workout, we tried to work through upper, middle, and lower chest. Make sure you're doing all things within a workout, unless you're specifically trying to target any particular muscle group. But for those of you who are just gonna try this workout for a start, then I'd like you to do all of the things that I mentioned. So upper chest, we did our incline dumbbell press. Um, for the flat, we did our flat bench press. And lower, we did our cables like that, along with a couple other exercises in there too. Make sure you're hitting everything from a different angle. And also, if you like, try changing your hand grips too. You notice most of the presses are like this. Sometimes if you're gonna use a machine and things like that, you can try having a neutral grip, which means palms facing inwards. Try all these different things to make sure you're hitting the chest from a different angle and a different way to make sure we're ma maximizing as much muscle growth as possible. Also, as I mentioned before when I was on the bench press, we need to make sure that our core is switched on to make sure we're getting the most out of our lifts. Now, a good way to do that is just to focus on the core as we're setting it up to make sure it's tight and engaged. Now, if you want to strengthen your core, you can do things like uh, ab crunches, you can do things like oblique raises, and you can also do planks just to make sure that your abs are turned on, firm, and ready to lift. It might actually increase the amount of weight you can lift on your bench press and other lifts too. So in summary, subscribe to the channel. If you like what I'm wearing, go get it down low. It's my favorite, go get it down low. Go get it from the link below. This is my favorite from right away. And I suggest you guys give it a crack. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.